Hi everybody, I'm Simon. Welcome. This uh, video is Apple goes Chinese. <laughs> it's let me adjust that camera. I even chuckling about this one, thinking about it. <laughs> so this is going to be part of the Apple Kirby series, which we seem to have. You guys seem to love these two. <sighs> one afternoon, I. When I used to be sat in the bar in Soy 7 at the end of the day, well, the beginning of the evening, about five-ish, as I've mentioned before, the girls used to bring me in food. I'd give them a bit of money for the food. We'd all sit at the back on these concrete tables and the bench seats and huddle up and eat and have a laugh and a joke. Um, Apple always used to cuddle up next to me tight. You know, she was the top girl, centre of attention. And I'd be sort of pushed in the corner. I remember it well. And I remember one afternoon sitting with the, all the girls and it, pretty much all the girls were there that afternoon. Um, I can remember Joy there as well. But this story just came back to me and I, I've got to tell it, <laughs> it, it this is a one-off I've never seen or anything mm, before. Yeah. So we're all sat eating and the story Apple's telling the story in Thai, but then translating. And everyone's laughing, it was so funny. 24 hours before, it was lunchtime in the bar, about 12, maybe one o'clock. And Apple was at the front of the bar. Um, so as you're looking at me, if you're in Soy 7 looking into my bar, we had chrome poles come along and down with a centre bit and a gap in the middle, a couple of steps up. So to this side of me, we had the bar curving around and going back, all the way back. Apple used to love, Frozen used to sit there. There's one seat between the end of the bar and the chrome pole, a couple of seats, but Frozen used to sit there. That was her domain. But I remember this day, Apple was there. Frozen wasn't him, Apple was there. And she was sort of leaning on those chrome poles, looking up Soy 7. Beach was that way, so she was looking up Soy 7. And, um, I was sat further back and there was a couple of girls and Joy was on the far right hand corner doing the same. And they were sort of shouting at each other. And, but Apple suddenly got up, through the gap, and walked up. So we seven. Um, and Joy was sort of commentate, commentating to me what was going on. Um, there was some, now I, th I said she goes Chinese, they could have been Japanese. But three guys were at the soy and they had a tripod and a camera um, and they were setting the tripod up in between cars coming down in the middle of the road and they'd stand in front of each bar, the three of them, and they were timing a self-timer or whatever, taking photos outside each bar as they were coming down the road. That's what Joy said anyway. Um, and Apple just went up and started talking to them. and. Uh, they pretty much filmed all the bars, apart from maybe ours and down the bottom, the last one. So eventually they came into my view and they did. They took a photo and Apple went in the photo with them of the bar. Um, three guys, black hair, all the, it, it was like a comedy, all exactly the same height. But she dragged them in the bar. <laughs> now, Chinese, Japanese, they don't tend to drink and they don't tend to go in the bars, they tend to be in coach parties and yeah, I don't know much about them. They, the tourist situation with them, whether they indulge and I don't know. Do you know? Got some comments in, stories. So these three, she pulls them in the bar, no other customers, Talked them on and our tables were quite high and you had to climb up onto the seats, the stalls. These guys were so short, they, they could lean on the table. They didn't get on, they just stood between the, the chairs. And Apple was taller than them. I don't think they spoke English, but she was sign language between them and maybe she spoke Cantonese or Mandarin, I don't know, but she made signals to them. She let, turned around, it wasn't far to the edge of the bar. She, toy was on and um, she got a lady drink put a drink in front of her, leant back, grab, grabbed the little wooden bin and popped the invoice in for a lady drink, middle of the table. 
So he works out the guys wanted water. Yeah, don't drink. But not bottled water. They wanted tap water. I can remember them. It's, they, they, uh, yeah. Toy looked at me. I'm sat at this end of the bar and I went, yeah. But 40 baht for tap water because the glass has got to be washed afterwards and, you know, bottled water we, st we were selling for 80 baht. So still got to make a profit. And Toy did three glasses of water. Uh, Apple turned around, got them, put them on the table, turned around, Toy gave her a ticket, put it in the bin. So lady drink 120 baht, 120 baht for 340 baht waters. And they were drinking, drinking, drinking. And then the, the sign language kept going, but Apple turned around, bar fine. Toy invoice, passed her the ticket, she pops it in the wooden bin. Guys have finished their drinks and they're like mm, signaling. Apple gives them the bin and they're like, the one guy pulls the three tickets out and it's like, well, like I, I couldn't work it, but it was like water's free, um, not buy your drink, and I'm not paying a bar fine. It, it was just that sort of, and they were sort of a little bit aggressive, you know, they just well. Anyway, Apple said a few things in Thai and made some signs at them and stopped them. She then went over to Toy, got a bit of paper and pen back to the table and they all huddled in I can remember they were all over this bit of paper don't know what the hell she was writing at this point and the one little guy pulls out not a phone top pocket a calculator I can, I can remember seeing this calculator and he's tapping away and showing the other guys and they're making squiggles with Apple anyway short short on the story she picks the bin up nods at me, nods at Toy, points at the bin and points at herself, she's going to pay the bin, she puts it back on the bar, Toy puts it underneath, writes Apple on it. Up the guys, well they already stood up, <laughs> they turned around with Apple and they all marched out. They went down towards the beach, um, later on, on when, when I'm eating the food I found out they were staying at the hotel that looks like an ocean liner, I think it's called A1. So it's on Beach Road, Soy 2, Soy 4, I think Soy 2. If you stand on the beach, look up at the buildings with the beach behind it, it's like a big ship. I think it's called A1. And it's a hotel. It's like a big ocean liner. Beautiful. They were staying there. Off she went. Three guys. So this was about, I think it's about one half one. And then five o'clock, I've, you know, in the afternoon I've gone up for a sleep, come back down. Sat down, the girls were there, and Apple's walked in. Loads of food. The girls have already got some food, but she's got loads more. She stopped at the bar with toy, bin, paid the bin, 540 bar. All the food, come over, kicked the girls out of the way and snuggled in next to me, and then we get the story. So we're eating there. She's been about three hours. Okay, Apple, what's going on? What's happened? What have you done? Now remember, Apple, Kirby was the specialist at oral extraction. As I've said to you guys, she was the one who kept getting the stories that she was wonderful. But she was wonderful in all departments. To look at her, she was a, look at, a little bit of a sexy tease look. Where Apple was slim, athletic, with short curly hair, piercing eyes. She was more like a lady. I know, Daft sounds, you know, it's a bar girl, she's like, but she had a bit of manners about her, she had a bit of uh, stature, the way she held her frame, she was like posh, posh apple, but she was an all-rounder, and everyone always said how good she was at everything. What had happened? She'd taken these guys to the A1 hotel, Japanese, Chinese, whatever, and in one room, three guys, an apple. About two hours of all the various aerobics and everything that has gone on. Nothing um, kinky or strange apparently, but quite a bit of uh, 
of you guys have got some name for this where there's one girl and three guys but I'm not going to say it she's she's moved around all three of them but one difference is they were filming the whole thing on their tripod with probably a camera similar to us vloggers video they videoed one of them was videoing and then they were I don't know they were taking I'm not going to go into detail but three guys one girl someone was filming they filmed the whole thing I mean Apple's got I, I would say Apple's got some balls to take on three guys but that's the wrong you know <laughs> yeah but she took on three guys and they filmed everything a couple of hours and then she's come back with some food of course we're all like uh, we can't believe it it's like wow what's going on with all these airplanes today sun's out it's loads it's all these stories of maybe two girls and one guy but three guys and one girl and she's took them on and she's done this and the filming we're all like unbelievable she is the top girl but then we're all thinking the same question how much what was why did she do it you know she nabbed them off the street she go she said three thousand baht a couple of hours three guys and filming what three thousand baht each <laughs> that girl got nine thousand baht nine thousand baht for an afternoon couple of hours Okay, she's had to pay for the waters and the uh, pay the bar and the drink, but nine thousand baht took on Apple took on three Chinese Japanese guys. They video. I'm, 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 I said to Apple, "Are you not worried? You're on video with all these guys. It's going to end up on the internet. It'll be all over. I don't care. Not bothered. I'll get famous." <laughs> she did not care. And you'll find with a lot of girls, if you're um, wanting to film, photograph and all, you pay more money, you can. But be aware, is it legal having images on your camera going through an airport? Are they classed as, you know, I'm not sure about that, you can comment on that as well. So, 9,000 baht, three Chinese, Japanese guys. Apple was the queen. Absolutely amazing. I'm, she obviously went into a lot more detail which I can't share on this family friendly channel a lot of detail and there was some funny things in there but I just can't repeat them <laughs> oh dear Apple 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 she was a star so there you go Apple goes Japanese Chinese oh that was brilliant slightly well not slightly different in my bar, Apple and Kirby were the, well Kirby, you know, part time, but they were the stars. And it got me thinking, a lot of you are asking questions and, um, and commenting and things. If you guys go into any, let's talk about Patea, any beer bar in Patea and get hold of the owner, the cashier or the mama-san and ask them, is there a girl in this bar that is the top girl and why? I'm sure there must be an Apple and Kirby, lots of them in the bars. It's just a case you've got to ask. And if you're up for it, then go for it, pay the bar, and try it out if that's what you want. But if you do, and you find some more Apples and Kirby's, come back to HQ and tell us and put some comments in below. Um, that'd be great, absolutely brilliant. How many Apple, Apple and Kirby's are there out there? Yes. I need to get someone to do me a really good design t-shirt with the Apple and Kirby connection and some words. And, and you guys send me some designs. Uh, can I just do a quick shout out? There's a, a channel I found, uh, a young lad called Tony, walk through Thailand. So walk through in one word and then Thailand. If you search on YouTube, walk through Thailand. Slightly different from the normal. Quite good. It's going to be a really good channel, I think pop and have a look and I don't know when I'm putting this video up because I've got so many lined up now videos to come to you guys 
this um, you might this might be after the jib story it might be before it's taken a lot of time to do that the jib and jib the uh, vampire bar girl yeah a lot a lot a lot of parts I'm loving the filming of it though loving it UK now we're at 25 degrees sunshine I got the bike out of hibernation the motorbike fires it all up but I haven't got on it so I need to the next few days this reminds me of Thailand as well it's beautiful I can't wait to get there right I'm waffling I'm sorry <laughs> there you go Apple does Chinese and oh, Japanese I'll see you soon guys bye for now